My name is Liz from DSNY6, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use dynamic zone visibility to create a dashboard with buttons that switch between multiple charts in one view, just like this. Dynamic Zone Visibility, or DZV for short, is a tool introduced in Tableau 2022.3 that allows an individual to toggle the visibility of a sheet or container using calculated fields. It does require a bit of external data, so the first thing we're going to do is pull up Excel and make the basic table for our buttons. All it will be is one column with the names of our sheets in it. You don't have to use the sheet names, but it will make it much easier to remember which button is for what if you keep consistent naming schemes. I'd recommend saving making buttons for after you've made all of your sheets and decided the layout of your dashboard. If you end up adding things, you will need to add them to your Excel sheet as well and update your data source in Tableau. Speaking of which, let's go to the Tableau workbook, open a new sheet, connect your Excel file as a data source. Go to the second dropdown at the top, click New Data Source, choose Excel, and find your file. Once connected, you can make your actual buttons. All you need to do is click and drag your buttons pill to the column shelf. Personally, I also like to change the button colors to more easily distinguish between them. You can also make them different shapes. You can even upload images to use as shapes if you want customized buttons. Simple as that, your buttons are done. Now, I have a couple of sheets pre-populated for this example. In this case, a bar chart and a line chart. DZV works with as many or as few sheets as you like, but for now we'll just use two. We will need to make a parameter with a list entry for each chart and a calculated field for each one too. So let's start with the parameter. Its data type will be string, and you will need to make a list of each sheet name. Again, like the buttons, these names do not need to be the same, but it will make your life a lot easier if you stay organized. With two charts, it's simple, but if you're using this tool to switch between 10 different sheets, it will get confusing. Once this is done, you're going to create a calculated field for each sheet. The formula is going to be an if statement, where when the parameter you just made is set to the name of a given sheet, the output will be true. You can duplicate this exact calculated field and just change the value to the name of different sheets. As you can see by the icon to the left, this is a boolean. It will essentially function as a toggle switch that sets your charts to on or off. With that done, you have everything you need to set up your DZV buttons. Navigate to your dashboard and begin to arrange your charts. In this case, I want my buttons at the top and my charts to be the main body. So I'm going to use a vertical container, place my buttons, and then add a horizontal container below it for my charts. I recommend this as doing things out of order or without containers can cause behavioral quirks with the DZV. If you find your charts leaving blank spaces when they disappear instead of filling the view, just remove them from the sheet and replace your containers. Don't mind how hideous this looks because it's all going to look much better in just a moment. Boom. No title, no problem. With your charts in view, select one and navigate to the layout tab in the left hand pane. At the top will be three tick boxes. Select Control Visibility using value and pick the appropriate calculated field for each chart, bar for bar and line for line. This is why naming conventions are important. Don't be that guy regretting having to remember if it was calculation 12 or calculation 17 that you needed. Now you may notice that as soon as you attach these Boolean values to their charts, one of them disappeared. You can see in the item hierarchy below that the line chart is still on the dashboard, but it just isn't visible or interactable with. In order to actually make the buttons usable, we have one last thing to do. Head to the dashboard drop down menu and select action. Now create a new parameter action. Its source will be the button chart in the dashboard. It will target the chart parameter and you should have only one option for the source field, the singular column in your Excel sheet. Conveniently hard to mess up. Ah, ah, don't forget those naming conventions. Just like with the sheets, if you have multiple sets of buttons, it can get confusing if you don't name everything properly. With this done, you have successfully created a set of buttons that control chart visibility in your dashboard. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more content like this, please subscribe below. If you'd like to review any of the skills used in implementing DZV, follow any of these links to learn more. Thank you.